probably some other news. I know the uh, late night uh, uh, set came out this week too. Yeah, which, which I'm interested to talk about too because that was. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that. But you want to? Well, you want to do that first, or you want to do the the call ins? Uh, let's do it first. Let's look at the let's, let, let's look at the late night. Yeah, let's look. Let's, let's look that. at the late night and 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 the the reason that I found this to be interesting enough for something that I felt like could be stretched out on and stretched out can be 10 minutes. It can be 30 minutes. It can be an hour. It can be whatever you want it to be. Um, is that I have never seen Bonnaroo do this before. And if I have, I've missed it. And maybe they have the last few years, but I missed it. A, a push of the, at like the after hours branding, which is basically, I guess what I consider that with that flyer, uh, you know, this, this flyer that came out to that everybody saw that's a, a calculated push by the organization to, to get people to go to these late night shows. I mean, there's late night shows have been happening at Bonnaroo for 15 years, minimum, maybe since day one. I don't remember what they did the first five years. I don't know if there was music playing at four o'clock in the morning then, but for a decade and a half, there has been, I don't ever remember seeing there being a push saying, Hey, Here's exactly early on. Like, we don't know the set times yet. We don't know the stage right. times. We don't know anything. I don't remember, other than the day that they're playing, I don't remember ever seeing this before. And I thought it was just another, I don't want to say genius move. We start using that word too much. But a very, very slightly above innovative way of continuing to push this festival and what makes it stand out from everything else. And I, I found that to be the most notable part. And then after looking at who is on this list and actually recognizing somebody each night, because most of the time the late night stuff is stuff I haven't heard of. Sure. And other than like last year, corn was late and my morning Jack was late. That was a, that was a different year than we've been used to. I, I think it's really cool. The problem is I don't stay up this late. So I don't, <laughs> I, I don't know that I'm going to make any of these shows other than after last week, last week's discovery of Neil Francis with an eye. Francis comes alive on that Thursday uh, that I would really like to see. But, you know, my initial thought was, wow, Bonnaroo once again makes another really cool yeah. Uh, advertising push that you know that always sets them apart from everybody else. It's that value added kind of thing to me. It's um, and we talked about this especially this year. Okay, I'm going to spend how much for a ticket to see my favorite band, right? Uh, mm-hmm. Or maybe two or three, and and then it's like, okay, so what else am I going to do? Oh, you mean? I can see Gore uh, on Thursday night, late. At, yeah, you know, two in the morning, that or Mars great. Volta. Yeah, or uh, yeah. Are, are you kidding? I mean, that alone, it's, right? Uh, right. It's the feelies. They want you to, you know, you've you've dropped a bunch of money on the ticket. They want you to feel good about, you know, and and tease a little bit of what you're gonna experience. Yeah, they don't they don't care if you go to any of these shows. Yeah. They're just they're just pushing <laughs> that they're there and and really actually and that maybe that's not true. Um, there is a little there was a part of me that thought for a minute. Well, there's maybe there's an interesting crowd control here thing. If you take away the variables that 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 people who are going to get themselves in trouble anyway, no matter what time of day it is, you know what I'm kind of referring to mm-hmm, usage mm-hmm. of substances and things that no one encourages, not us, not the festival, not people who understand the the stamina it takes to be able to, to do this kind of weekend. But if you really look at the science of the temperature in the, of June, this your safest bet is to spend the late nights seeing music in the middle you know in the middle of the night and and not oh, being yeah. in the in the sweltering sun and then if you if a bunch of people do that they'll all be crashed out all the next day and then we get a senaru much easier to wave our arms around while we're checking four o'clock shows out on the what stage well i think i just made a bunch of stuff up You've just become the cynic. You've become your dad. When did this happen? <laughs> when I was 17. But um, Wow. But, but You've just become the old man in the room. <laughs> these, these acts, though, are nothing to, um, 
to no, to, no. to not pay attention to. No, um, I, look, it, it it so we're looking at Fisher, Rosen, Murphy, uh, Big the Plug, War, Neil Francis. Francis comes alive on Thursday. That's big Seven Lions, T Pain, T Pain. Oh T- my God, that's going to be so much fun. T-Pain Mars Volk going to be huge. T Pain, yeah, uh, confirmed. Confirmed. Yeah. T Pain will not be in a tent this year. I don't know if you remember that 2018 set. You couldn't get anywhere close because that oh tent was overflowed. So he's going to be on one of the stages. I would say which would be my guess. Uh, Me too. Who knows? That's Again, Friday. That is worth the ticket alone. Right? Yes. That's kind of my point. You're going to get to see T-Pain do something stupid, something crazy. I mean, stupid good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mars Volta, Thundercat's gonna be fun, and then Saturday, Pretty Lights, a sunrise set. Are you kidding? I know. After doing the Thursday, which which we talked about a little bit last week, the the Thursday night on the what? I am just beyond excited for, to see what that stage is gonna look like. I feel like if the, the International Space Station is gonna be able to see a pretty good view of Manchester and the what stage with Pretty Lights. Late night, um, I'm guessing it doesn't say it. We don't know yet, but I'm, I'm guessing that'll be like a, a 11 o'clock at night, uh, maybe midnight, 1030, whatever it what? is. It's, it's sunrise. It's going to be later. No, but that, mm-hmm. that, the sunrise is Saturday. Right. Because so, right, they're doing the two sets on Thursday. Right. I'm assuming it'll be more like 11 or 10 or midnight. I don't know. It's going to be so, so cool. So, yeah, it's amazing. Um Again, these are the, and we'll talk more. Uh, we don't want to spend all this because we've got a lot to get to, but that's amazing. Um, that's going to be so much fun. And these are those, again, the value added type of things. Yeah. We love yep. this festival. We get it. We know we have our expectations, but then they throw this at us and it's like, oh my God. <laughs> well, and what Bonnaroo has done marketing wise to me feels like what the NFL has done over the years where they kind of spend the whole year giving you a little bit here, giving you the schedule release here, the, the free agency days here, the combine, you know, that whole thing, what they're doing and they've been doing it more and more is just, it just every little while, here's another little something. It's a marketing. It's a, it's, it's, it's it's all marketing. It's and again, it, it's that value added. And it works. And even if it's not an additional true value that you can put a measurement on that's tangible, it, it feels it's like, oh, man, did you see the after? That's how I re- reacted to it. And that's not normally how I, I, I would. I just I like the way they presented it. It didn't it wasn't like, hey, coming up tomorrow, big announcement. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Where you're mm-hmm. like, oh, my God, what is the great? You know, they, they didn't set up lofty expectations they couldn't hold up to they just one day said check that out yeah whoa oh, here's, T- here's t-pain on friday that's pretty cool <laughs> oh, oh, like we, <laughs> we already knew all these bands were going to be there but when right. you curate it down like this it adds a level of perception perceptive value yeah. Yeah. and um and that's what they need to do to move these very expensive tickets and i hope they do i hope they do Bye, bye, bye. I hope everybody is going to eventually do. I want 80,000 on that farm. We've been there when there's been Ooh. light crowds and we've Dude, been happy. I like I like 40 cuz I like to be I around. do too. <laughs> but you know good and damn well we won't be doing this show in a couple years with 40,000. So I, I want this thing to sell. I I, I do. Um so yeah, no, I love I, it. I, I think it's I think it's another just small but really effective move by the uh by by Bonnaroo just overall in general 